Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and it is that time of the month again. Yes, it is the first Tuesday of the month and you regulars know what that means. It is time for free Unreal Engine stuff. Yep, we have five free assets for the month of August, yours to keep forever as long as you buy them, air quotes around buy, before the first Tuesday of next month. And we're just going to jump right in, hands on with the first item and uh, I got to point something out. Uh, I did not place these arrows, <laughs> and uh, I think that the creator may have a bit of a sense of humor. But anyways, this one is the Moore RPG uh, template, Moore's RPG template. Basically, it's everything you need to create an RPG-style game. We're going to go ahead and run the demo. You get an idea of what it's all about. And nicely, we've got some clothing on. Now, there is a ton going on here. Basically, everything you need to create an RPG, although even you see there's a little bit of slowdown going on here, but... Uh, we can uh, swing our weapons, you can read books, you can ride horses. Uh, like, okay, we're, we're attacking the horse. I want to interact with the horse. Come on, let's get on the horse. Okay, not look up the horse's butt. Okay, I don't know how to get on the horse. But you get an idea of what it's all about. You see, you got a mini map at the top. Basically, if you're trying to create the next Skyrim, this is a template to get you up and going. By the way, if you are an Unreal Engine developer, which if you're watching this video, I wouldn't be surprised that that is you. Uh, there's one thing you want to be aware of. There is a, this banger of a humble bundle going on right now. Uh, this is almost 90% uh, Unreal Engine stuff. I did a video about it the other day. If you're interested, you can get a ton of assets in that bundle. Anyways, back to this month's free stuff. So that is the first one. This is a Moore's RPG template. Uh, this one is actually implemented as uh, a create a project, by the way. Everything else is an add to project setup. So if you're wondering, uh, you know, which one to start with if you want to play with all these things, um, this one is, again, a create project. So let's go ahead and check out the next one here. Uh, this one is the one I used in the thumbnail. Uh, this is the Asian town, a modular setup for creating, um, again, an Asian style, uh, feudal Jap Japanese style village. You see right here in action, uh, everything you see here uh, to create, you know, let's just turn on uh, preview mode. Pretty straightforward asset. So again, you want to create feudal Japanese style village. That is what this one is all about. Got a lot of, uh, what is it, pagodas. Uh, we got some cherry blossoms going on over here as well. A bunch of bridges and so on. So pretty straightforward asset. Let's go check out the overview asset on this one. So over here, you get an idea of everything that's included in this pack. And it is pretty much exactly what you would expect. Again, highly modular, uh, so you can create your own derived work out of this, no problem at all. By the way, you can export stuff out of Unreal Engine and get it into other game engines. I have documents down below showing you how to do it. So if you are using other engines, I still recommend you hoard this stuff, get it for completely free, because um, it's, it's pretty powerful what you can do with this stuff. And again, completely free, so you might as well pick it up. So next up, we've got uh, this guy right here. This is a modular dungeon setup. Uh, everything you see here, again, another pretty straightforward asset. It's that uh, kind of stylized, semi-realistic art style. Uh, you can see the results of it right here. Let's go ahead and check out the overview map on this guy to get an idea of the assets that are included. So you got things like treasure chests and treasure. Uh, and then we got some uh, lights that have all been rigged and set up for you, some skeletons and chains. Uh, like I said, the medieval period kind of sucked to live in, I'm guessing, from uh, the kind of things you normally see in these packs. Uh, next up after that, so we have the, that's the RPG toolkit we looked at. And this one here is the modular skeletal knight. Uh, let's go check out this guy. Uh, this one is uh, a Kniggit. Uh So, all right, over here, where are they? Oh, there we go. So everything you see, modular parts. So you got, um, you know, chainmail coif, um, breastplates, and so on. All modular. Like, see here, a variety of different weapons. So we got pole arms, war hammers, uh, swords, axes, and so on. A uh, variety of different arms. And, of course, skeletal knights. So you have skeletal heads. So that's definitely part of it. A variety of different styles. This is very Dark Souls-y to me. It reminds me a lot of the enemies from Dark Souls. A uh, number of different armor sets. So you got seven different armor sets to work with. So you got some uh, plate mail with chain. I uh, got some more of like a padded leather. Uh, a little bit more of a plate mail setup. Again, another plate mail. A little bit lighter of like a ranger style armor. And it looks like we got a chain coat here. So a uh, decent combination of armor types there. And obviously you have a couple different skulls to work with, different weapons to work with, modular parts to kind of hook your skeletal knights together. 
Uh, and then finally, we have the Undercity, and this one is actually two in one. So we've got Undercity right here. Let's go ahead and check out the Undercity map. And this is kind of, a, I don't know, Victorian cyberpunk English vibe to it. Everything you see here to create this environment. Um, fairly low polygon, I'm noticing, and the lights are way bloomed out. That's one of those definitely Unreal Engine 5.4 things. Uh, which is what I'm demoing it in. You're going to probably want to, again, go in there and turn the light bloom down a bit, but you get an idea of what this one is all about. Again, let's go check a look at the uh, overview map here, and there are the assets you're getting in this particular bundle. Nice thing about this one, though, is you're actually getting a twofer. Uh, so if we come back on over here, uh, we've also got the um, Wonderland bundle here. Let's open that one up. So here is Wonderland, and this is Wonderland as in Alice in Wonderland, sort of a bizarre fantasy world type setting. We'll head, wait for that one to load in, and come on, here you go. Okay, when 100% when is 100%, but it isn't 100%, well, that is right now. I swear, in this day and age, you cannot trust progress bars anymore. So here you can see, again, sort of a stylistic Alice in Wonderland style world. It's weird that these are paired together because uh, I, I guess the author of Alice in Wonderland was from Victorian era England, maybe? I don't know. I do not know the relationship between these two assets. They're very arbitrary in my humble opinion. Uh, but this is what you are getting there. So you see almost like a Dali-esque warp effect going on with some of these towers. And that is it. Uh, that is this month's free asset. So let's do a quick overview. Again, once again, if you are an Unreal Engine developer, uh, there is this Humble Bundle going on right now as well. It's got uh, 24 items. 21 of them are for Unreal Engine. Really high quality stuff from Meshing Guns. Check out the video for that in the link down below. But this month's assets we've got here is the More RPG Template. Now, More's RPG Template has a lot going on. Way more than I can cover in this video. So again, you got things like book reading, uh, lock picking, civilian clothing, chainmail armor, plate armor, uh, fast travel, map mini map compass system. You got combat system systems in place, a mount system, even though I never figured out how to get on my particular horse. And you can see all these various different pieces there, including things like gamepad controls, main menu options, and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, you definitely are getting a lot in this template. So if you're looking to create an RPG style game, again, something in the vein of Skyrim, that is what Moore's RPG template is all about. Now do keep in mind, again, this one is a create a project style project, not an add to project project. So if you're going to check out all of these things, start with this one and then add the other ones to it. Next up, we have the modular Asian medieval city. Uh, so I said feudal, but I guess I guess feudal and medieval are kind of the same era. But you can see again, medieval, um, or I guess feudal J Japanese style setup there. Uh, Again, a straight content pack, uh, very straightforward, 143 meshes included in that one. Next up, we have the stylized Nanite Dungeon Pack. Again, things like chests and um, uh, pillars and walls and sconces and treasure, etc. for uh, a stylized uh, RPG type experience if you want to create modular dungeons there. Um, and then if you want to populate said dungeon, we do have the Skeleton Knight modular setup. Again, uh, seven different armor types there, a number of different modular pieces of equipment, a number of different weapons, etc., to create a wide variety of skeletal knights. And then we've got the Undercity and Wonderland bundle. This is two uh, straight-out asset bundles. I don't know the relation between them because, honestly, I see absolutely none. Uh, so one is, again, kind of Victorian era or steampunk era English kind of vibe to it. And the other one is Alice in Wonderland. Again, not really sure of the relationship there, but uh, you're getting two bundles for the price of one, so and that price is free, so I guess we can't complain on the whole. And then finally, once again, there is that humble bundle if you're looking for even more cool environments, including another Asian pack there, by the way. Uh, but some really cool stuff in this one as well. Check the link out for that down below. But if you want to go ahead and pick these ones up, all you do, basically add them to your cart, check out, and buy them. They're yours to keep forever. You just have to make sure that you buy them before the first Tuesday of next month. Uh, so if you are not hoarding these things, hoard them. Trust me, I have thousands of assets because of these things. They've been going on for three or four years now. I've gotten every one of them, and it translates to just so many assets. Basically, just go to the free for the month, 
And then uh, as of tomorrow, these will all be updated. You can add them all in. Just go to add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, check out, and they are yours to keep forever. Let me know what you think of this month's free assets. What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Also, once again, remember there are guides down below. So if you're using an engine other than Unreal Engine, you can export them out using those guides. Let me know what you think of this month's freebies. And that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.